What cause burning throat syndrome? No. Lump in your throat. What is Yeah, I think it's this. Make do embauche. Ah, guys, for all the no life in my channel. No, I'm just kidding, guys. <clears throat> I'm skipping because I don't want to. Yeah. The symptom of having a lump in your throat. It's yeah, see, that's what I have right now. Sensation that there's something in there, but yeah. there's actually nothing yes. in there. What is this condition? What? Okay, bro, really? Come on! Is that a fucking joke? Does he put, did he put the guy wondering, hmm, what do I have in my throat? I'm not sure. Imagine, bro, yeah. <laughs> Guys, he's doing the monk come. <laughs> monk come. Yo, can I, one second, I just want to What see. can you do about it? There's a few different <laughs> There's a few different medical <laughs> names for this condition. If you wanted to know this, it's not important. But what I'm going to give you today is some basic data on really what's happening. If we take a look at these structures right through here. Yes, it's right there, though. We have the pharynx, which is in the back of the throat right here. And let's say I'm looking this way right here. Okay, real fast. Where is the trachea? Where is the trachea? What is the trachea? I don't know what is the trachea, though. Huh? Ah, it's interesting. So to all the people that do the resident sleeper, man, why don't you, instead of, my God, look at his hands, though. Holy shit. <clears throat> here, so the tongue is right oh, here, yes. the jaw's right here, and then we go from the pharynx, right below it, we have the larynx. That's your voice box, okay? We have the vocal cord. Yo, what, yo, bro, what is this thing is he using, bro? It's not, I don't like that. You know, it's kind of, what is this thing? He has a pencil and there's a virtual thing in the back or something. Why don't you use the old, go, the good old, old, the old thing? You know, avec une craie et un putain de tableau en arrière, comme dans le bon vieux temps, man. A smart board? Bro, fuck the smart board, straight up. I'm not even trolling. You have a lot of other stuff going on there. You have muscles and ligaments and cartilage right through here. Right below this, you have the trachea. The trachea is a, yeah. a structure that has an opening into your lungs, okay? So that's where the trachea is. And then right behind the trachea, you have the esophagus. That's where the food goes down into the stomach. And you have various valves and controls for ah! sphincter. Sphincter is a muscular valve ah! that can close like this. And that's controlled by certain parts of oh. your autonomic nervous system. <laughs> And there's a little flap okay, she, through this structure my God, to control <laughs> the food, to make sure the food doesn't go down the wrong pipe. And that's called the epiglottis. And so you have a lot going on in this area right here with nerves and muscles and tendons and cartilage and the coordination oh. of allowing air oh. and food oh. and speaking. My God, now, dude. about a couple of years ago, I was doing lunch <laughs> with an old client that I had. <laughs> and as I was sitting there, I noticed that sh she started choking after she consumed some soup with some chunks of chicken and it got stuck in her throat. Who did ask though? And she's like, I can't breathe, right? And I have never ever been in a situation where I had to perform the Heimlich maneuver. And okay. I'm very quickly trying to remember how to do it and so, I go behind. Okay, weird flex, man. That's weird flex. Behind her, and I start to do the procedure. Is that you? Doesn't work, and she's like, she's choking, and I'm looking around, and everyone's just watching, and I'm going, oh my gosh, she's turning red, she's gonna pass out, and at that moment, what came to mind <laughs> sorry, is that this area like, of your body. So I'm not, yo, bro, I'm not laughing to the situation. I just like, sorry about that. I'm tired, but vocal I, I will never like, you know what I mean? It's just like the boards, uh, the structures in this area are highly like, innervated by the autonomic nervous system, both the parasympathetic, which is the vagus nerve, as well as the sympathetic fibers. And so what I told her is that Yo, bro, can you tell us why I feel like I have something in my throat, bro? It's been two minutes and 46 minutes. All right, I know what is a pharynx, a larynx, and a trachea, and I've seen some stuff that sounds monkeys to me. Go ahead, bro. I give you, Larry, 20 more seconds, Dr. Berg. I just said, 
relax. Just calm down. Just try to relax. Now, I know it's kind of difficult to try to get someone to calm down when they can't breathe, but she just <laughs> sat down, she relaxed, <laughs> and then she could start breathing. And so one of the reasons I brought that up is that one of the triggers for having this lump in the throat sensation uh. is stress. So when you go through stress, you activate these sphincters oh. and things can close. Okay, I'm being dumb, bro. Okay, he's actually... Okay, I'm being fucking dumb. I thought it was a video to see like... You know, sometimes you feel like you have something... But that's what he says, actually. Yeah, that's what he says. But, but why now he's calling about people that eat and choke? Because that's what he says. He says, at the start, he says, you know, you feel like something, you have something, but you know there's nothing. Blows up. And you can have all sorts of problems, including laryngitis and all sorts of hoarseness and problems with your vocal cords as well. Can so you by the this stress, really? symptom can be activated by stress. No, I, I'm talking about... Okay, you guys don't get it. It's insane. Man. Stress, a virus. A vi what? Oh, that's a thing. Maybe I have a virus then. Because <clears throat> I feel like I have something in my throat, man. Right there. <laughs> Fucking hey -o. Is it I the Rona? What is Rona? Like it's in my... S Does it also get worse if you burp? Monk calm. No, but... You are stressed? I don't think I'm stressed. No. It's... It's not in my throat. Fucking it's like in my sinus. You know, it's like... This guy is Pogo, man. I know. But... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys, it's not that much Pogo. He has 4 million subscribers. Fucking pay okay? Trust me. Can I get this something in the layer? Low vitamin D levels, which we'll come back to that. GERD, which is an acid reflux situation. Ah! Aha! Okay, bro, man, I think I have some. Yo, see? Okay, bro, I, I think I might be fucked, man, to be honest. See? What he said? No, but you know my acid reflux that we always been having? since a long time so maybe it's due the thing that i have right now it's not only due to the it's yo okay bro maybe it's time for me for a a a, a, che, a, che, a checkup bro a big one a whole one a full body checkup yeah i'm not even trolling bro no but for real no <laughs> and and i shall get not only the full body checkup but like a, a blood test as well a blood test to see like uh, you know and uh every now but for real though okay so says you're super old no no and even a problem with the vagus nerve one of the things that's happening is we're getting a spasm in some of the soft tissue in this area right here and one of the medical names for a spasm in this area is laryngeal spasm it laryng laryngeal spasm all right, so far type one, if you learned something today. I did. But I don't even remember again what is a laryngeal spasm. So tonight, go see your father and mother. Mama, do you know what is a laryngeal spasm? She's going to say no, and you explain. And she said, my God, that is so nice. Where did you hear that? At Payo's channel. And she, you know, Pogo is in the lair. For a spasm in this area is laryngeal spasm. And what's interesting is if you look up this condition right here, hypocalcemia, that is low amounts of calcium in your blood, one of the symptoms for this is this right here. My God. Spasm in your larynx. See? Interesting. That's one of the symptoms. So in practice, what I would always give people is some simple calcium, and it really would help them. The type of calcium that I would recommend for this condition there's several types of calcium. Type one in the chat, you didn't know that. I didn't know. I think there were only one type of calcium. Is calcium lactate. I used to use calcium lactate from standard process, and you can get that online. It's very inexpensive. Hey, it works great. Is it crazy? It's, it's mine. I would also. My God, are you okay, bro? What the fuck is this shit video, man? Who take their pills like this? Are you okay, my little man? And though this is he's not eating pills now, he's eating popcorns or, or peanuts, man. Shut up, bro. What is this, bro? <laughs> yeah, 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 yo, he's hungry. Yo, he needs to eat. <laughs> Look at him, bro. What? But it's very inexpensive. It works great. It's non-dairy. I would also believe calcium orotate would work too. 
I haven't tried it. I do know that this works good for other types of uh, spasms in the body as well as menstrual yeah, cramps and it's a type of calcium that can penetrate the tissues very well. But in practice, I always use calcium lactate. It's a non-dairy, very inexpensive. You would take two or three on empty stomach each day and that seems to work very, very well. Yo, yo, bro, 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 did you see the glasses? It's, it's, it's dirt. Uh, bro, you will, yo, bro, 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 bro. Yo, bro, you give me, yo, you give me, you give me $100,000, I will never drink on this thing. And she did it maybe for like 200, not even. Each day and that seems to. Yikes. Yo, bro, do you know what is this? You know what is this? This is several people that drink on this thing. That's what it is. No, no, that is, yo, what is this is Lipsil? Lipsil, dead skin, and, and like, what is, what is, what else? Dude, what? No, it's, and dust, bro. To work. And maybe, I was about to say something, but. <laughs> very, very well. Me, I'm because what we're dealing with is a spasm, a muscular contraction. Another symptom of hypocalcemia is tetany, which is a little twitching right here. And oh. you can actually have tetany, and that can actually affect the um, quality of a voice. There's uh. actually a condition called strider in infants. I don't like that. Where an infant's voice is very harsh and raspy. And take a while, guess. Wait a second. Dude, I have all of these things, bro. What the fuck? Wait, no, but I'm not even trolling, though. What causes that? Hypocalcemia and low vitamin yeah, D and, levels. Because and the sick, because I used to smoke cigarettes. Wait a second, do I have like a... I, I'm kind of have trolling here, but anyone know if I have those type of things so far? I think I do have the apocalaxemia and the laring sung zam zam. Little Peo, <laughs> you might be oh, allergic I... to nuts. Uh, uh. You've been eating a lot of them recently, Peoi. Okay, bro. Because... One of the causes of hypocalcemia is low amounts of vitamin D. So Okay, bro, 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 I have okay, bro, I have everything there, man. Okay, this is it. Like straight up, like bro. No, but it's all I don't have any vitamin D. It's insane. Like so what all the fucking thing that he says, I have them, bro. I'm not even trolling. No, but for real, it's insane. And he's right, I never go outside, I never take vitamin D, bro. It could be that the person is low in calcium because they're low in vitamin D, which probably is actually pretty common. So one of the things I would recommend to take on empty stomach is not just the calcium, but the vitamin D as well. What? Wait, why? Wait a second. Oh, you can. Oh, bro, wait. But the, I wait. Am I then? We also know that if someone has GERD, even though they have a acid reflux. Yo, it's insane. He talk about okay, so that's why I have this thing. Then it's it's it's, it's kind of funny. I don't. I, I I used to have the acid reflux. I don't take any vitamin. I don't have sun. I don't take the vitamin D. And there's another thing I used to have as well. What is it? It's crazy though. So what? Wait, you can you can you can eat vitamin D. I thought like it was only the sun that was. I guess you can take vitamin D in pills, but the best is the sun. All right, remind me to get vitamin D. Wait, are we? Uh, all right, number one. Vitamin, vitamin D plus. Are we going calcium too? Like what the fuck, man? Calcium. All right. Am I? Are we missing something though? Chat. I don't see the chat though. Are we? I, am I? What's really behind that is a low amount of acid in their stomach. It's called hypochlorhydria or achlorhydria, which means you have a deficiency of acid or you have no acid. And what's happening now is the uh, valves are closing and the acid is squirting up. I, I, well, if you don't have enough acid, guess what you're not going to be able to absorb in the body? Calcium. There's a connection between low vitamin D and low calcium. There's also a connection between viruses, certain viruses, and calcium too because calcium can help put certain viruses back in remission.
And too much stress over a period of time can deplete your calcium as well. So anyway, if you have a lump in the throat, try this remedy and comment down below. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not no, going no, no, smooth, no, 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 no. I have a keto consultant standing oh, hey, by. Oh, he's abusing. Oh, he's abusing, dude. All right.